Arts Camp 2020. Yeah! <laughs> Ms. Crisco, welcome to Virtual Arts Camp 2020. I'm here with my dog Painter. Hey, Painter. <laughs> and he's going to help me out this year um, painting with you guys virtually. I'm so sad that we can't be um, meeting in person this year, but at least we get to still do a version of Arts Camp even though it's online. So I'm going to walk you through the steps just like we normally do. The nice thing is that you guys can pause the videos anytime you need to to get caught up. Um, anytime if you feel like I'm going too fast, you can just hit pause and then pick up right where you left off. So. I'm gonna show you what's in your kit, and I'm gonna show you what to do with that in just a minute, and we're gonna get started. We're gonna have a lot of fun, and we're gonna get some paint on canvas. Also, for parents and teachers that might be um, demonstrating at daycares, you guys are doing these at daycares or any kind of after-school programs, um, if you guys would show the tutorial video first, and then let your students work rather than having them try to keep up with me because when I'm working by myself I work pretty quickly and that way my videos are not 45 minutes long as well so um, show them the tutorial first that way you have their undivided attention and they can watch it and pay attention and then let them work on each section so you could even show a section of the video and then let them do that and then you could show another section of video and let them work on that. Let, that way they can work at their own pace and they can talk and have fun and enjoy the process. Also, keep in mind that these are your canvases. They're not gonna look exactly like my example. They're not gonna look exactly like my own kids' examples. Um, so please don't get frustrated if yours doesn't look exactly like it. Every one of these is going to be unique and that's what makes it fun and that's what makes it interesting. So have fun creating. All right, so I wanna go over a few things that came in your kit that you may have picked up from the Arts Council. First of all, you got your 16 by 20 canvas, which is here underneath all of my supplies. You also received a set of your very own brushes, and these are just like the brushes that we use every year at Arts Camp. So one neat thing about Virtual Arts Camp is that you guys get to keep the brushes. Um, you also received two pencils, uh, lots of paint. We've got 10 different colors here. And you also received a Stanley County Arts Council cup. You could use this as your water cup if you like, or you can just use a plain old jar like I use. I've already got my jar over here and ready, so that's probably what I'll use for my water. Um, we also included a plate here that you can use for mixing. And then of course you uh, received a template. So if you picked up the K2 kit, you received the Owl Eyes template. And if you picked up the 3-5 kit, then you received the leopard template. So I'm gonna show you how to use these to transfer your image onto your canvas. And this will kind of give you a head start to um, your painting. And I usually give you guys a little something to kind of get you started each year. And so this year we uh, decided to include these templates to kind of help you out and get you started. Since we can't be together in person, I thought this would help you guys out. Um, one other thing you'll want to do is maybe include some paper towels underneath your water cup so you'll have somewhere to dry your brushes. So make sure you have some paper towels ready to go as well and water, of course, in your cup or your jar. All right, so I'm taking my template and I'm going to turn it over so that I'm looking at the blank side and I'm gonna put it up next to the window. I've actually already started tracing this one. That's why it looks like it's on both sides. But I'm gonna take my pencil and then tr um, trace all of these lines with a good heavy coating of graphite. Then I'm gonna do the same thing for my other template. So if you're three, five, you're doing the same thing. You're just doing the leopard instead. This is the front. And then of course on the back, I'm gonna go and trace all of the lines. So I get a good layer of graphite on each one of the lines. 
uh, coloring back and forth. These pencils work really good, by the way, so they get a good layer of graphite on there. Okay, so now I'm going to show you how to transfer this onto your canvas. All right, so I'm back at my canvas and I have my template that I took to the window and traced on the other side. And I'm gonna take my template and make sure that the graphite side is facing the canvas and the printed side is up. And I'm gonna scoop this up just a little bit so that it's almost centered on my canvas. Uh, it's actually a little bit low. I'm gonna put two fingers between the, the bottom of my paper and the bottom of my canvas, and that's about how far up we want this to be. It's not quite centered. Also, my canvas is turned landscape, so you wanna make sure that you have yours turned landscape so that the 20 inch dimension is going across the bottom and the top, and the 16 inch dimension is going up the sides. So this is landscape dimension, okay? Then I'm gonna make sure I hold this in place while I trace, or you can put some tape at the corners if you want to. I'm just gonna hold mine really still as I trace. And what I'm gonna do is go over all of these lines on the top, just like I did at the window, except now I'm going over the lines that were actually printed on the cardstock. And again, I'm, I'm going back and forth. You wanna press firmly, but don't press too hard because remember the canvas is just fabric wrapped on a wooden frame and if you're not careful you'll poke a hole right through it so be careful that you don't do that so i'm kind of going back and forth just like i did at the window so i get a good transferred image on the other side and you can kind of hold it in place and double check that your image is transferring. I don't know if you can, I don't know if that shows up on camera, but I'm gonna darken my lines up a little bit so you guys can see them better. So make sure I get every line. I got every line, but if I want to double check, I'm just going to hold this firmly on one side and pull it up, make sure I got every line, and I'm pretty sure I did. So now I can remove my template and put it to the side. Um, I'm going to darken up my lines just slightly so that you guys can see them on camera, but as long as you can see your lines, you do not have to do this step. In fact, I would not do this if you don't want to see those pencil lines in your final product because those are sometimes hard to cover with some of the paint. So I'm darkening mine up just so that you guys can see my lines on the canvas. Okay, so here's... my completed design. And then I'm gonna extend this line slightly slanted back and off the canvas. And then I'm gonna extend this back line down my canvas slightly and give it just a few bumps to show the muscles in the leopard's back until it goes all the way off the canvas at the side. If you have trouble getting the design to transfer clearly, ask an adult to help you. They can help you press down a little bit harder on the canvas to make that design nice and clear. 
And don't forget, you can also tape the edges of the template to help hold it in place.